a defining weekend in the Elite League season. Top of the table, the Cardiff Devils have been the best side out there so far, but the Sheffield Steelers, despite their injuries, have managed to hang in and now have a shot at going level on points with Cardiff with victory here at the House of Steel. Back-to-back -back games which could decide the destination of the Elite League title. Two games in 48 hours, crucial for both hockey clubs. The Sheffield Steelers have Marek Pince in the lineup and he has the chance to finish off work he didn't manage last time out when he was replaced by Brad Day. For the Cardiff Devils, still no Tyson Marsh, but they're a group that know what they're doing and they have the Elite League's leading scorer, Joey Martin, who has proved a constant thorn in the Sheffield Steelers' side. Neither team really getting any quality zone time. Hewitt goes in hard. Richardson rides it. Debian could go to the side of the net. Hewitt continues to work this one to Mosienko. Steelers down to four skaters momentarily as Hewitt goes on a change. And now Matthew Watt will win it on the boards. Shot will come deflated the goal. Tyler Mosienko takes it out of the air. And the Steelers have the lead. A flick from the blue line. And Mosienko, hand-eye to perfection, takes it out of the air and bounds very little chance to keep that one out. And the Devils will come clear again. 2.50 gone in the second session. Steelers with Guillaume Debien. Drilled by Salters. Now Steelers have it deep in the zone. Here's a chance, Mosienko walking in, scores! Goes top shelf. And the Steelers lead by two. The Devils got caught defensively. And Mosienko, the trailer on the play, found brilliantly. And he made the most of it. He went high. And it's two on the night for Tyler Mosienko. And the Devils have just not been able to solve the Sheffield Steelers in this one. They've not created the quality chances. They're on the back foot again as Phillips shot is blocked. Culligan will try and get it down. Now with a bit of speed, they can break into the offensive zone. Snapshot goes across the crease from Kirker. Russell, rink wide, shooting lane, off the bar and in. What a finish. Kirker scores. And that was postage stamp. Labelled it. A little spin on the shot. He found the space 15, 16 feet out. And the Steelers' third unit. Not able to repel him, but that's a finish of some quality. Cardiff now have to come back from the far end of the ice. As I look at it, it breaks back in again. Devils have it. Shot comes. Goal! What a finish from Andrew Lord. A tug of the shirt in celebration. Not the first time he's done that in this building. A power play goal. Just five seconds remaining on it. And as the Devils broke in, Lord finally had the space and as he took the little screen here, stepped to the middle, settled things down and then let the wrist shot go. And he goes low stick side and we're tied at two. And it's something you just can't afford to do against this Devils team. is take penalties, particularly cheap ones as Connie Stromberg brings it back the other way. He's got Saric with him, if you can find him. Second chance for the Steelers on the one time. Another opportunity, it's Vestberg fought off by the blocker. And then Culligan crushed in the corner. Steelers still have it with Vestberg. Needs some help, doesn't get it. And Moyer, strong, does really well, Russ Moyer. And a good outlet pass as well. But Havato breaks things up. What a passage of play that was. Culligan. Nelson was there. And the Steelers will go backwards again with Fitzgerald. Right up the middle to find Jonathan Phillips. He's brought down penalty. Culligan's going. And it's a tripping call. Eventually back underway. And Vestberg in possession. 
Good pass to the top. Here is Coyle. Little tip down low and the Steelers score. It's a hat-trick goal for Tyler Mosienko on the power play. Coyle looked for all the money in the world like he was going to shoot. But in the end, he scanned the horizon and he picked the pass on the move. Well, that comes off the skate of Mosienko. Yeah, I saw that play first time, but it's not a kicking motion. He's just heading towards the net. It's fired in at such a speed, he's not trying to kick it. Oh, no goal! They've oh. waved it off! Oh, I'm staggered. I am staggered at that. That didn't look to be a skating motion. I'm right in front of that. That's it. Well, we've seen the replay. That is amazing. Well, it came off the skates, but the rule is a kicking motion. It's with Hotham. He clears, that's a good outlet pass towards Martin. Martin steps to the top of the circle, shoots and scores! The Devils lead! Somehow it evades Marek Pince. And is that the killer blow? Cardiff have their first lead in the game. And it's the man with a knockout punch, Joey Martin. Mosienko. Look at that, he's got nowhere really to go. With Wah, Mosienko on his backhand side, can't find a teammate though. And a break goes the other way with Doucette. Debian steals possession and now he's into the zone as the Steelers got something. Snapshot rebound taken off the tape of Wah. Good defensive play. Steelers with Wah. Doucette sends in and Wah cuts a, a frustrated figure right now. Debian, Steelers miss out in Stromberg, not Debian, and then Gurkha comes back into the zone again. He can send this one along the ice. Rebound and a goal! And is that the goal that takes the Cardiff Devils towards the league title, I wonder? The Steelers had it at one end, and the counter was swift. Gurkha found the seam to skate into. And with Russell driving to the net, he knew had a good chance here. Russell picking up the pieces. And this one does come off the skate, but crucially off the tape too. And Cardiff lead by four goals to two. Legui walks to the middle. O'Connor to Legui. Legui fires one just off the post. Steelers again, they're giving everything but it's not going to be enough this evening. Nelson turns the corner. Chance at the side of the net, they score. Now it is a hat-trick for Tyler Mosienko. And with 14 seconds to go, surely it's too little, too late. Nelson with a little end-around play here. He takes Martin with him. And as he turns the corner, he engages two players, and that's what opens up the space here. And it's a good shot along the ice, creeping under bounds. Steelers hold another unofficial timeout. Cardiff, they're gonna have to deal with one last chance. They do. The Devils win, and they take a super stride towards the Elite League title. A big blow for the Sheffield Steelers, a savage blow to the guts. But does it take enough wind out of their sails as the Devils claim their first victory at the House of Steel in the league since 2012? And the Steelers, led by two, lose this by four goals to three. Let's hear from the man who scores the hat-trick, Tyler Mosienko. He says, let's go, so we're going. Tyler, ever been more frustrated after scoring a hat-trick? Uh, no, I, it's pretty frustrating. Um, I mean, that's, that's what happens out here sometimes. I mean, you don't get the bounces, don't get the calls and whatnot. And uh, I don't know, I mean, I mean to, you know, to look at ourselves a bit, we went down 4-2 and we just lost a jump in our step. I mean, I think we still could have came back and won it. And uh, I don't think we just, I don't think we pushed hard enough. Let's talk about the, the big moment of the game. It could have been 3-2. It, it was initially called 3-2, and then the officials get together and say no. 
You're the only man who really knows. I don't know what I'm allowed to say there. I don't want to get the team or myself in any trouble. So uh, it was a goal. I played hockey for a long time, and it's a goal. So uh, that's, that's all I got to say about that. Is the league title over for the Steelers now, or is there still a way they can come back? Definitely not. I mean, uh, we got a ways to go. I think we got to win out and give ourselves a chance, and uh, we got to turn the page here, come out tomorrow. And I mean, if we don't win tomorrow, I'd say it's probably pretty much over. But uh, yeah, we got to give ourselves a chance. What did the Devils do today that turned that game around? They played their game. I mean, they didn't, they got down two, and they, they responded, and then uh, they came back too. And we kind of, uh, I don't like the way we responded very well. Paul, the frustrating night. Well, I mean, it's always frustrating when you lose and it's, it's this tight. You know, we're going into the last few games of the season against the first place team. We could have gone, you know, level on points with them tonight. And, you know, we, we got off to a terrific start, great first period. And I thought, you know, even in the second period, I thought we created some good quality opportunities. But they're a good team, David. And uh, they worked their way back in it. But And, and you know, I just felt... You know, we gave up a power play goal on the rush, which we should never do because we, you know, we're chasing and, and uh, you know, it was a four on three back down the ice. And then, uh, you know, that's a, that's a little bit frustrating, but you know, then we get the three, two goal and then that gets disallowed. And I don't want to comment on that. And the referees have seen the video since and said they would have still made the same call. So, you know, that's, that's what it is. But, uh, I have to say in the, in the third period, you know, we started to get stretched and then when we were. Facing the rush, we were our gap was was bad. We got away from our game. We got away from our speed. Forwards, the gap between the forwards and the D was was far too great. And uh, you know, and, and for six seven minutes, we looked like a team that just you know was 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 being marshaled by the Cardiff team. And and then we had a flurry towards the end. And Connie has a great opportunity. And then and then we you know maybe he scores that third goal. And the six on five goes in, and we go into overtime. But it wasn't to be tonight. And uh, you know, a lot of people are frustrated walking around with their heads down. It can't be like that. You know, I've got to get these boys and these soldiers back up and ready to go. We, I mean, we, we're going to go and do it the hard way. We're going to go into Cardiff tomorrow and win. You asked for your big guns to come to the table and Tyler Masienko didn't let you down. He scored three, maybe even should have had four. No, no, great game by Tyler. Really pleased with his offensive and his goal-scoring contribution tonight. I, I really am. And, uh, you know, we need others picking up their game coming into tomorrow. We have a, like I said to you, we have a good group. We have a committed group and uh, we got beaten by a good team tonight. We got a, a beaten by a team that was better than us in the third period tonight. And you know what, when I look at the scoring chances for and against, they took their opportunities. Their top guys took their opportunities tonight and uh, we've got to make sure that we get that done tomorrow. Is that perhaps the big frustration that the chances are there, but they're not being taken. And right now it's the clutch guys aren't performing, aren't, aren't delivering. Uh, you know what? It's a team game. It's a team game, David. And uh, we've got ourselves over 50-odd games to this position, you know, to, to challenge for a title because we have good players and we have committed players. And uh, Mozienko answered the bell tonight. And I always felt this weekend, you know, if we win both, I think we're in the driving seat. If we split, I still think we're in with a very, very good chance. You know, and maybe you would have thought it might go home and home again like it has all season from a results point of view, but they've come in here and they've done a great job. And uh, we've got to go in there tomorrow and we've got to do a great job in there tomorrow and we've got to play with no pressure from the point of, you know, we've just got to go and play and play hard. And, uh, and you have to play tight in there. And a couple of the goals tonight, we're a little bit loose. We backed off, we weren't tight on guys. And, uh, you know, they showed their quality. When you give them a yard, they take it.